So it's like two o'clock in the morning and I kind of got drunk on Thursday. So we're a little bit late with today's upload. However, we got you guys. So last year we had the Callus Mini Tool return in Season of the Haunted. Basically the season that was in the same slot as Season of the Deep last year. We also got Duality last year. The dungeon with the mechanic that'll kill you, even if you do it right. And the biggest draw to that SMG was the fact that it was the first SMG in the game with the perk Incandescent, one of the most loved perks by the community. And today, if you don't have a Callus Mini tool we got your replacement right here a fellow 900 rpm smg that has more impact range and a pretty decent magazine size we are talking about none other than the return of the bug out bag smg baby so let's go ahead and pull up the bug out bags perk pool and let's look at it dissect it like a surgeon baby so you're looking at some of these perks jump out at you in the third column i know some people are going to be looking at maybe threat detector but i believe the biggest perk that people are looking at in the third column myself included is going to be subsistence Defeating targets partially reloads the magazine from reserves. This does proc off of any scorch or ignitions that this gun may cause, which I am a huge fan of. Then outside of subsistence and threat detector in column three, maybe perpetual, but pass on everything else in the third column. And then for the fourth column, most people are looking at one perk for the most part. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. We're talking about incandescent here. Who doesn't like an SMG that spreads scorch nearby whenever it kills enemies? The new perk collective action might be pretty good here as well as collecting elemental pickups or throwing a strand tangle is going to grant you a stacking period of increased damage obviously the elemental pickups are like fire sprites void breaches shards ionic traces and strand tangles and it's going to be a 20 percent damage buff for about six seconds that you can extend but i'm pretty sure those would be the main two perks that people would even go for in the fourth column maybe multi-kill clip but i'm gonna stick with incandescent here if you're wondering what role we are using in the background gameplay we are one million percent using subsistence and incandescent you can go ahead and get this gun over in the helm and focus your season of the deep ingrams into bug out bags keep in mind it does take four of those ingrams to focus one bug out bag so even if you have a hundred of them you're only going to be able to focus 25 bug out bags just keep that in mind my boy also depending on how you look at it this would be either good or bad but this weapon does not have a pattern meaning you don't have to worry about farming the red borders for it you're just beating rng and getting the role you want as it's only the taken weapons that have patterns from the season maybe a bit unfortunate because you can't get enhanced incandescent but it's still nice that you don't have to get the pattern for this gun because there is no pattern so if you are of the people who never got their hands on their crafted callus mini tool or do you just weren't playing last year this is the smg to go get i have a callus mini tool and i'll be quite frank with you i think i like this smg just more just better more range and a little bit more damage for the same frame which i believe is a better third column perk option and subsistence over threat detector although callus mini tool also has unrelenting which is low-key a sleeper good perk go ahead and let me know your thoughts and opinions on this smg down below and as well as your desired role for this weapon hope you guys enjoyed the video consider subscribing you guys be safe out there we'll see you on the next one